Okay, what I'm going to show you here is some typical quadratic equation errors. Um, the first one that I see a fair amount of time is people will start factoring and the right hand side is not equal to zero. Okay, so the error there was that before they even started they should have dropped the 48 across and made the right hand side equal to zero. And now you can carry on with your factoring. Um, I've also noticed that when using the quadratic formula, people are very sloppy when they put in their square root sign and their divide sign. So they may do something like this, um, b squared minus 4ac, and then they just sort of do a 2a like that. And what happens there is people will work out this part of the question, and then they'll add it onto negative b. And that gives you an error because you're supposed to do everything above First of all, you're supposed to do everything above and then divide by 2a. Okay. Uh, another mistake I've made is something like this. Um, yeah, let's say we have a squared um, plus uh, 5a uh, minus 2 equals 0. Um, so in their formula, a equals 1 b equals 5, c equals negative 2. So their answer to the variable is the opposite of b, plus or minus b squared, minus 4 times a times c. And 4 times a times c is like that. What they will do here, sorry, it's all divided by 2a which is 2 times 1. The mistake that comes up here is they end up goofing the negative sign. So they say it's 25 minus 8, when in fact it should be 25 subtract negative 8. Okay, and they would then go on and say that the answer is minus 5 plus or minus the square root of uh, 17 over 2. And that's the error because that should be a plus 8. And the correct answer should be negative 5 plus or minus uh, 33, the square root of 33 over 2. Okay, so that's a couple of typical errors that happen in these questions. Um, not making the right hand side zero, being very very sloppy with this divide sign, and not doing subtracting a negative correctly. Okay? That's the error right